Persona 3 Reload is my game of the year, or at least one of them, it's really hard to tell. There's Unicorn Overlord for its incredible strategic gameplay, Emio the Smiling Man for its phenomenal story, or again Persona 3 Reload for its themes and its amazing ending. Persona 3 Reload was my second time playing through Persona 3, but somehow it was this time where I truly loved and adored Persona 3. I loved it so much, and that's wild as someone who's really disappointed as hell after completing Persona 3 Portable. It's not to say Persona 3 Portable was bad, as I actually really liked Ikari and Junpei, but it was in Reload where I fell in love with the rest of the cast. And yes, even the dog that even have an arc. That's how good Reload is. And yet, it's not a perfect remake. It's not a full remake of Fez or Portable. Which is sad, especially considering that Persona 3 Reload is 70 fucking dollars. And in order to make Reload a full remake of Persona 3 FES, you have to pay an additional 35 fucking dollars just to get Episode Igus. Which that's a remake of the answer. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I'm supposed to be talking about Episode Igus now. Something to know about Episode I Guess is that it's here where my feelings get disconnected from the base game, pun intended. To the point where I don't love or even hate Episode I Guess. It's just there, and that's kind of disappointing. Episode I Guess is the epilogue to Persona 3 that was never needed and takes place a little under a month after the events of Persona 3 Reload's ending. Episode I Guess aims to do a lot by giving us the answers to the questions from the base game, by telling a story of how to overcome grief, and man, it doesn't do any of those particularly well. So see, I knew beforehand that this was a controversial epilogue, but mainly on the gameplay side, and now that I've played it, Wow, this sucks a lot, and that makes me really sad, especially considering how good Persona 3 was. It sucks, it stings, and it left a sour taste in an otherwise phenomenal story. And that's also why this video is as it is. It's because there's not a lot of story here, and the story that is here, well, it's just plain mediocre. Episode I guess occurs nearly immediately after the events of the base game. And if you don't remember what happened, which you should, Makoto died after giving his life to stop Nick, and it's an ending I will never forget. It's beautiful, it's amazing, and it's one of the best endings I've ever seen in any type of media. But apparently someone at Alice forgot, because there's not a single point in the story where Episode I guess spills off of the ending in a good way. Yes, it's incredibly sad to see C's grieving, especially with Igus and Yukari, but when the trailers and opening are more emotional than episode Igus itself, there lies the problem. Episode Igus starts innocently enough. It's March 31st, less than a month after Makoto died. This is the last day before the dorm will be torn down. Only Igus, Mitsuru, Ken, Junpei, and Fuka are here. Akihiko and Yukari are nowhere to be seen since, you know, they're fucking grieving. Before long when midnight approaches, time seems to loop, and by the way, a crazy robot is attacking everyone, and by the way, I do not care. The next piece of the story involves us learning about the abyss of time, and that's what's causing time to loop, and thus it's time for the gameplay to take over. Honestly, episode I guess is mediocre and so boring to me. If you remember in my review for the base game of Persona 3 Reload, I praised Tartarus, or, or more rather, I praised the fact that Tartarus was less annoying than in Portable. This was thanks to a few changes like the fact that every block wasn't the same level design wise, you could collect materials, actually run, and monad doors. The thing is, with episode I guess, it didn't actually remove any of these additions, which is a good thing. So why do I hate it? I hate it because episode I guess is 95% gameplay and 5% story, and you just can't have that in a Persona game. I love the modern Persona game so much because of the beautiful balance there is between the gameplay and daily life. In Persona 3, half of the game is set in Tartarus, which I can understand people getting tired of, but that's kind of the point. But personally, I had a blast with it. Each time that Tartarus opened up to a new block, I would beat it in one night. The beauty of Persona 3 and modern Persona as a whole lies in its characters and its stories, and that's why episode I guess just doesn't work. I do understand that with this premise, that social links or link episodes don't work, but as a result, episode I guess just isn't as good as the base game. There's not a single moment here where I was shocked, a single moment where I was blown away, but there was a single moment where I was disappointed, and that single moment lasted for the entire fucking game. The most story you do get is after clearing these Tartarus like blocks. There's a big door at the end that houses the memories for one of our party members, and 
it's nothing special. Like, I could maybe find some good in episode, I guess, if these doors gave more depth to these characters, is that these doors are just not interesting at all. At most, I guess his door is the best one here because it actually does something. It shows off I guess's dream and how Makoto's death affected her, and I love that. Well, eventually, we do find out that these are the points where the party member's potential was unleashed for their personas. Honestly, these doors are rewards that feel more like eating a small mint after getting into a car crash. A game that's similar in scope to what episode I guess is would be Trails in the Sky the Third. I won't bore you with the details, but Trails in the Sky the Third works so well because of the balance between the gameplay and the story is so much better, and because those doors help so much with making those characters so much better. It helps, of course, that there's a lot more characters here with a lot more doors, but some of these doors genuinely made me appreciate the smaller characters a lot more in a way that I never expected. Back to the Abyss of Time. This is the main reason why I found episode I guess so boring. I feel like at least half of the Abyss of Time should have been cut. I mean, come on, Atlas. I know your games are long as hell, but there is no reason why episode I guess should be 39 fucking hours. Wait, what? What do you mean people have been this in 17 hours? What in the hell am I doing wrong? <sighs> I know going in beforehand that episode I guess was going to be controversial, and somehow I still came out disappointed. The concept of episode I guess isn't bad at all, but the execution is just numbingly okay, and that's just sad for me. Before getting a $1 Game Pass trial for this, I really did think that I would have fun talking about this at the bare minimum, and no. It's not fun to talk about something that I don't like. It's why in all my videos, you never see me talking about a video game that I do not like. In episode, I guess, it's hard to talk about the story, because there's honestly just not a lot of it. And that sucks. They do try to hype up the final part of episode, I guess, but I'm not a fan. It just sees fighting each other in the dumbest way possible, and that sucks. Because I truly do believe if written better, episode, I guess, could have been great. Hikari in episode I guess was a character that I wasn't bored by because she offers conflict and she's still grieving a lot. If I had to change the story, I would make her more of a villain, but instead we're just fighting in this weird arena and it's just hard to give a damn. And everything just feels too convenient for the story. Oh, I should also probably say my thoughts on the characters. I guess is the only real character here to be given any depth and actually works. I cried when she cried because she was my favorite character in the base Persona 3 Reload. Though I won't lie, I think Metis as a character and the truth surrounding her is just rather stupid. I didn't really care for that whole sister dynamic. By the way, Labrys is a lot better. And like I mentioned just a bit ago, Ikari had potential to be somewhat antagonistic, but nah, she's not too interesting. Also, I wasn't a fan of how Junpei was written here. It kind of feels like they made him dumb or something. I don't really know. Mitsuru here is kind of cool because we get to see unique designs for her when she was younger. And they're not just Mitsuru again, but just smaller, they're actually unique. And that's honestly all I have to say about her. The others, I have no particularly strong opinions about any. Akihiko, Ken, Koromaru, and Fuka, they don't really do anything or have any strong moments in the entire expansion. So I believe that the best way to approach waves 1 and 2 is to view these as nothing more than bonuses, but also that might be hard given that these bonuses kinda suck. Both Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5 Royale already had tracks available as DLC for Reload, with Persona 4 Golden's track being a pre-order bonus. It sucks a lot, and it's kinda weird. What sucks more is that even if you could get waves 1 and 2 separately, I think the core problem is that, personally, I can't do this. Golden and Royale's musical styles are so different from Reload's and they just do not fit in the game at all. These songs are good, don't get me wrong, and probably the best out of the ones that Alice could choose, but the thing is, I only really used them when I was getting sick of doing the same thing over over and over again in the abyss of time. Even then, I got sick and tired of the Persona 4 and Persona 5 music. <laughs> Episode I guess is a nothing burger, and I realize that when writing for this and I realize that when writing the script for this video, it's just not a lot to talk about in Episode I guess. It's the fact that Episode I guess barely changes anything in terms of combat dungeon design, and also because of how goddamn boring it is. It's unfortunate, and it's at this point that I realize that P-Studio is just not that good at making stories after the mainline Persona games. Persona 4 Golden's Marie arc is, I have nothing to say other than Marie as a character, is just not interesting as a whole. And it doesn't help that I didn't like Persona 4's story as a whole. Persona 4's spinoff, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, has a neat idea with Labrys, but the story takes way too fucking long, and then the conclusion is just too generic to think about. Persona 5's third semester is actually the best out 
of all these I've mentioned. But at the same time, I have a lot of issues with it that I'll have to mention when my Persona 5 Royale video eventually comes out. And with Persona 5 Strikers, that's just Persona 5 again. And that's boring. But hey, at least Sophie is a highlight. If there are a few positives I have to give Atlas, it's the fact that I'm a big fan of the new songs made with Episode Agus. Don't is a wonderful battle theme and fits incredibly with the tone, fits in a lot more than the usual mass destruction. Disconnected is a fantastic opening, and probably my second favorite in the entire series just because of how good it is and how much it contrasts with the other openings, and also how well it works for what Episode Agus is doing. Oh, one last thing to say, it's a good thing that they didn't lock Episode of August behind another enhanced re-release. And it might be a sign that Alice won't do this for future releases. God damn, the bar is low. Matthew is out of here!